Welcome to the Windows Phone 7 Minute. My name is Daniel Egan. In this episode, we're going to be talking about something that I think is really cool that I call Find My Phone. So there's somewhat of a hidden feature in Windows Phone 7. Uh, if you go to Windows Live and sign in with your ID and go to the mobile section, you'll find something that's really cool. Now you'll notice on my page I have a couple of the old ones, you know, because I had some beta prototypes. Uh, you'll also see the current Samsung Focus that I have. Uh, if I click on find this phone what's gonna do is jump out to another page and there's a bunch of different stuff you can do you can map it you can ring it you can lock it you can erase it all of this stuff uh, right from the website I'm gonna go ahead uh, and map it so I click on uh, map it and this will take a little bit to come up sometimes 30 seconds and you'll see if you have this turned on on your phone it will find where your phone is this is obviously great if you've lost your phone You'll also notice it's kind of a wide area right now, but if you look up top, you'll see that it's refining the location. Um, so it gave you the general area at first, and now it's trying to refine uh, where it's where your phone is. So if we give it another second here, uh, you'll notice that this will get a lot closer. Uh, it came into focus a little bit more, and you'll see now it's down at the street level. So it's still a circle of where my phone can be, but that's pretty precise. Um, as I go in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this to Arial so you can see the spot. And I'm actually recording this from uh, Starbucks. It's uh, right about here. So if I had lost my phone, it would be easy for me to realize that I left it at Starbucks and go get it. Um, and that is you know, basically the way you can utilize the location services that you set on your phone for it. Um, there's some other services that kind of uh, go in conjunction with uh, this and you'll find them down below it. The next one is Ring It. Uh, Ring It does exactly what you think it does. Um, we'll go ahead and click on it and if you lose your phone in your house and you don't know where it is, you click on that and you'll go ahead and get this. You can see that even if it's on vibrate, it's going to make a sound. Um, obviously it's vibrating loud because it's on a desk, but it also makes a high-pitched sound if you left it in your pants, you left it in the closet, wherever you left it, you'll be able to use it, or find it, I should say. To go along with this is lock it. So if you lose your phone and say you're not, um, don't have the lock screen on, you can actually lock the phone. And this is really cool because besides uh, locking the phone so people can't get to your stuff, you'll be able to do something else uh, that I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on lock it and uh, let that pop up. Um, it allows you to actually put a message on the lock screen while you're locking it, um, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type one in here. Uh, help. I have lost my phone. Call 312-555-1212. And ask for Daniel. Now that will show up on the uh, start screen. And if you want at the same time, we can do what we just did. We can ring your phone at the same time so people actually hear it and find it and then see this. And this is really cool to me. So I went ahead and clicked it. You'll see uh, it's trying to lock your phone. Again, this usually takes about 30 seconds. And we'll cut over to the phone again to see what happens here. We'll give it a second. And you can see now it has it's ringing just like it did before. But now on the help screen, it has a way for someone to contact you. So they can't get to your information, but they know how to contact you to get your phone back. Uh, that's really cool, if you ask me. That's today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time.